Hey everyone, Lou Clark here, and in today's video, I'm gonna tell you five ways you can start saving money right now. But before we get started, I want to remind you of the description below that holds all of the different links to different videos, resources, free resources, my, what is your, what does that say? What is your money superpower quiz? It's all below, so make sure you check that out. Here are the five things I use to start saving money right away when I really didn't have any. Number one, stop eating out, stop going to restaurants, and especially stop having the $5 coffee every single day. If you took that $5 and put it away every day for a year, you'd have $1,825. Now do that every year for 10 years and put it into an investment at an 8% return. In 10 years, your $5 coffee a day is over $30,000. Dollars. That's something you can do to start saving today. Now, if you're like me and you enjoy one once in a while, then have one a week. Just take one a week. It will change what you're saving. But that $5 a day, it's costing you $30,000 over 10 years if invested properly. Number two, stop buying things you don't need. If you look around your home, you're gonna see things that you've never used or barely used that you probably could get rid of now. You might even look at them and go, why did I spend money on that? I know I have one small kitchen appliance upstairs. Well, I think I have a few, but the one I can name right now is one that takes like vegetables and makes them into like spiral, almost like a spaghetti looking. I forget, a spiraler, that's what it's called. I bought it, it cost me $25. I've used it once and I promise myself I'm gonna use it. I haven't used it, I should probably use it, but I just want you to think about this, $25 here, $25 there, $25 here, it adds up. Stop spending money on things you don't need just because in the moment it feels like you might need it. Just think about it overnight. I actually take two to three days before I purchase something. I don't impulse buy anymore. Number three, stop buying things you can't afford. If you can't afford a Gucci purse or a Kate Spade purse or a Michael Kors purse, don't buy it. I heard this really cool quote the other day and it was that designers don't sell to the rich. Designers sell to those who want to be rich. And most of the people who buy these items who want to be rich can't afford them. So stop buying things you can't afford. It's pretty simple. Put the money into what can make you money. Use that interest or that investment to buy things that you really need. A purse is a purse. Honestly, I used to be someone who carried Kate Spade purses and coach purses all the time. But now this is my purse. Like, that's it, guys. That's, that's, that's it. I don't carry anything because this is all I need. Even when I carry my cash, I just stuff it in there. You don't need to buy things you can't afford. Stop doing it. You're costing yourself the money you're investing in that product, as well as if you put it on your credit card, you're now paying even more for it because of the interest that you're paying on that purchase. Make sense? Number four, start tracking your spending habit. If you go to a coffee shop, put it in a book, the date where you went, and how much you spent. Whether it's on your credit card, your debit card, you paid cash, write it down. Every time you spend money, even if it's online with an online shopping purchase, write it down. This way you can start to understand where your shopping habits are coming from. Is it because you really need things or is it because you have a habit of shopping when you're under pressure, stress, worry, fatigue, excitement? Maybe you get a check and you blow it. Start tracking your spending so you can look at your habits and then it starts to become a game. And every month you'll start to wanna to spend less. You'll wanna stop writing it down. Like, oh, if I have to buy that, I've gotta write it down. So start tracking your spending. It will change your life. And finally, number five. Remember number two when I said that you've bought stuff for your home that you've never used, seldom use, or maybe no longer use? It's time to get rid of those things. So what you can do is gather all of those items up in your home and sell them on a marketplace like Facebook or Craigslist or Kijiji. Go and sell them. Get rid of it. You don't need that stuff in your house. And the money you receive from what you sell, put that in a savings account or an investment that'll pay you a nice return. 
Or if you've got some credit card debt, get rid of it. Use the money from what you sell to remove debt or build your investments. If you use these five tips starting today, you are setting yourself up for some massive results, some big successes, and it's going to change your relationship with money. If you're someone who's ever worried about money, this will stop that worry. If you're someone who's ever stressed about money, this will stop that stress. Use these five steps to take action right now so you can start saving money today. Until next time, Lou Clark saying, these five steps are easy. And if you don't know where to start, start with my superpower money quiz. It's in the links below. We'll talk soon.